In grade school, we learned red means stop and green means go. But what goes into maintaining 600 traffic signals every year? I'm Katrina Parker, and I'm going to give you an inside look at the Kansas City, Missouri Public Works Department in action. Come on, let's go. Take a look at how the city brings it all together. The city plays an active part in designing traffic flows for current neighborhoods and new developments. Our traffic engineers receive and analyze traffic study data. They also respond to 311 Action Center requests for things like traffic calming devices, parking changes, stop or yield sign requests, and speed limit signs. Sophisticated computer modeling allows our traffic engineers to figure out street configurations and forecasting well into the future. Uh, when a developer comes in uh, with a request to develop a property, um, we would review the plans, review the, uh, his proposals, make sure that it's safe, make sure that the uh, street infrastructure can safely carry the volumes that are needed for, to serve that, serve that development, and that it wouldn't have any negative impact on uh, our neighborhoods and uh, on the traveling public in general. The city determines which improvements need to be made for the developers to proceed. Long-range models can show city planners how to size future streets for neighborhoods and communities. You've probably been sitting at the traffic light at one time or another wondering when the signal was going to change. Usually it's just our impatience getting the best of us, but sometimes there is actually something wrong with the signal. Our signal timing section can pinpoint with great accuracy when a signal is experiencing a malfunction. Staff in the Traffic Operations Center evaluate signal timing effectiveness by remote using a system of overhead cameras and a central control system. This highly complex camera system helps staff get signals back online in a flash. Primarily what we're looking for is, uh, you know, if we see any uh, issues, we try to manage it more proactively than being reactive. In the past, uh, we used to wait for someone to call it in, you know, because we have about 624 signals, and you know, we can't be at every signal every time, so we are waiting on uh, citizens to call in and report a problem. Now, we can actually monitor about 400 of those signals, 402 of those signals, and say and tell if the detection is working properly or not, and if the signal is in flash or not, and we can dispatch people to get that taken care of before someone actually calls it in. Traffic engineers can use the camera system to reduce the amount of time the signal is in flash and malfunctioning. The camera system uses 54 miles of fiber optic cable, which helps staff address problems from the Traffic Operations Center. For example, if a citizen feels a signal in their neighborhood is not staying on green long enough, they can pick up the phone. Uh, typically what happens is that they, uh, they will uh, call 311 Action Center and uh, they will send a complaint in. And then once we get the complaint, uh, if, it's on, if it's on the system and we can actually see what's going on, we have the capability to go back and see what, what went on in the last uh, month or two. If the wait time is about 20 to 30 seconds, that's likely how the signal was designed. But if it's more than a couple of minutes, city staff goes out to check the signal if it can't be evaluated by the overhead camera system. If there are any adjustments needed, staff will make those adjustments. And citizens are taking notice. In a recent citizen satisfaction survey, a majority of residents reported being satisfied with the city's maintenance of signs and signals. If you have a street sign or traffic signal issue, the best way to get the city on the case is to call 311 and report the problem. Until next time, I'm Katrina Parker with the City of Kansas City, Missouri's Public Works Department.